Look, man, if we want the show to go Calypso, we're gonna need a bigger budget. But we don't have the money. And I'm also not getting paid. Hey, have you two seen James? He's not in his trailer and we're starting in 20 minutes. Wait, we have trailers? That's not the point. Have you seen him or not? Nah, last thing I heard, he was going to some party or something. Perfect. Hey, you, go find him or you're fired. So about this whole trailer situation. And that's why I'm not allowed in Vancouver anymore. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, that's a funny joke. James, what are you doing here? You have the Tonight Show in 20 minutes. It's my day off. No, it's not. Look at your watch. Live from Newman University, it's Tonight with James McDonald. That was planned. quite that was an entrance, quite show. an entrance, yes, my yes. friend. That was great, <laughs> phenomenal, in fact. Had the uh, had the jets turn on there in the intro there. Yeah, I was going uh, turbo mode there. I didn't have my blinker on, and that's why I uh, almost ran into that her. camera. There. <laughs> all right, but, uh, it's it's all right. Uh, thank you, everybody. We have a live yeah. audience today. Biggest we ever had. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think this is the uh, the most we've ever had. 100%, so uh, yes. thank you so so much for for being here. We really really. Appreciate it. We yeah. hope you enjoy. We'll try our best. So, uh, how was your week, AJ? What's uh, um, what's we been, been pretty good. Uh, we had another show today, Mac on the mic. We did. Quite yes, an eventful yes, show. Yes. Yes. And uh, uh, what do we have? We had this this foot race, didn't we? We did have a foot race between uh, one of our interns and uh, our producer. And in our fact, producer, uh, Mr. Des Valdez. Should we should we say who won, or should we just kinda... let's leave it up to audience interpretation? Yeah, we'll leave that yeah. up. Uh, spoiler alert. It was Des. It, it was Des. So, uh, but we have a great show for you tonight. But for now, let's check in on our studio audience and get to the entertainment report. Woo! For tonight's entertainment, we have Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker got married in Las Vegas. But just a quick piece of advice for Barker: don't take Kourtney swimming in the ocean or all that plastic might pollute it. <laughs> Haley Bieber shuts down all the pregnancy rumors that surfaced after the Grammys. Thank God she isn't, because I don't think the world needs another ba Bieber. However, she should know the most common pregnancy cravings is for men to be the ones to get pregnant. <laughs> Selena Gomez has said she stayed off the internet for more than four years and it's helped her mental health. And due to her kidney transplant, it's probably also good for the kidney. <laughs> And finally, Kanye West has dropped out of Coachella with less than two weeks to go. Travis Scott also has said that he will not perform with Kanye, and fans have never been more devastated than when Travis Scott took the Travis Scott meal off the menu for McDonald's. <laughs> and that's what I got for you for tonight's entertainment. Well, my next guests are the newest announcers for Newman Baseball, and they're about to hit this interview out of the park. Please give a warm welcome to our friends, Nick Coppola and PJ Troy. Woo! Woo! Nick, PJ, it's, uh, oh, there you go. Now I can see now. It's, uh, it's so good to see you guys. You too, and, buddy. And uh, how's, how's everything going? It's going good. Yeah, going, going good. Going, going good. good. Yeah. It's, uh, it's especially been going good because I got to see you uh, announce this wiffle ball game yesterday. Oh, yeah. Which, uh, which was fantastic. That was a little improv. It was a little play improv. Play-by-play. But... Was that something that you were expecting to do? Or no, was it, no, you Were you just thrown no. in? Our very own Sean McDonald asked me to do it, so okay. I said, sure. <laughs> all right. Or at all least right. along those lines. It's good practice yeah. for the actual thing. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It, it was great to see you because I've, I've never got to listen to you, and to listen to you live was fantastic. Oh, thank you. But it was even better to watch you uh, announce for me when I was up to bat. Oh, dude, you killed it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I went, uh, what did I go? Oh, for 4. Oh, for 4. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's something <laughs> We actually have uh, somebody in our audience there, Darius. Uh, who uh, hit an inside the park 
home run, which is uh, very impressive. Yeah, Darius. Yeah, Darius. Come on. Darius, Darius would you score three three runs on that homer? Or was that a solo? It was technically a solo. I, I ran solo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I gotta ask you off the, right off the bat. How was my form? How was my wiffle ball form? It was good. It, it was, was good. good. You know, there's always improvement for everything. Okay. Yeah. But I didn't think it was bad. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think it was bad. I, I kept hitting a lot of uh, a lot of fouls. I kept going into the parking lot. Yeah. And luckily, uh, I wasn't the one who uh, who hit any cars. So, no. No. Uh, it was it was a good day. We only had one victim. <laughs> we only had one victim. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which uh, at least it wasn't a teacher or a professor. So no. That been, no. Uh, that automatic F. Automatic F. Uh, but I want to ask you guys um, who who love baseball. Uh, what are some of your earliest memories of, of baseball in the sport? Do you want me to go first? You got it. Yeah, go for All it. Right. So uh, earliest memories, uh, I've been playing, or I did play Little League, obviously, at a very young age. Started with T-ball, the whole process, yeah, yeah. moving up, pitching machines, so on and so forth. And I just found a love for the game. You know, I really appreciate a big-time Phillies fan, obviously. Oh, yeah. And uh, when this opportunity came along to do play-by-play, James, I have told you before, yes. as multiple people know, I prefer to listen to a game yes. than yeah. watch it. Why? Why is it? Is it? Is it the um, the, the the sounds that that's better for you, or I don't know. I don't know. I just like enjoy it more. I enjoy like the setup. Like I can just toss it on and then still do other things. Where I feel yes. like yeah, yeah. if I watch a game, you miss a lot of it. You do if you're out doing other stuff. But when you listen to a game, you catch a lot of it. So yeah, the love for the game and the love of broadcasting kind of. In it. Yes. It's a, it's a it's a baseball love story. I exactly. Love I love it. Uh, PJ, how about you, buddy? Yeah, same kind of thing. I played little league in high school, and uh, just didn't work out so well for me. I um had a few uh, you know bad bruises. I hated. I always got hit by the pitch, and I just hated it. Okay. It's the worst thing of all time. I was scared of the ball. Couldn't hit the ball anymore. And I was like, you know what? I love baseball. Let's watch it. Let's see what we can do other than actually playing it. And I got the love of uh, broadcasting. Did in high school. Did in middle school. Uh, started up the um, whole high school program at my high school, and they still do it today. It's better and bigger, and it's awesome. I still go back there once in a while and take a look at it and everything. It's awesome. It's cool. Um, but I've always had a joy of just talking about baseball and just always loved like the watching like Red Sox games, and because I'm you know, from Massachusetts, it's just having the uh, the background of just having those big pictures and big you know voices out there just calling the game. It's like I want to do that really badly. So sure, I sure. want to make sure I can do anything possible to do that. And uh, when I toured here, I thought um, that dream could be. You know, pursued pretty heavily, and here we are. So and it and it has here you here you are. Um, you guys both mentioned Little League, and uh, is there any memories of Little League that really stand out <laughs> to you, really stick out to you? Yeah. So uh, I was playing first base, and uh, there was a grounder, shortstop. So I went to you know reach for the ball and get the kid out. Yeah. And uh, I the ball completely missed my glove and hit me in the face, broke oh. my <laughs> broke my jaw and part of my face. Oh. It's all good though. You're, that was you're good. You're, you're yeah, here now. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, here. I'm fine. I hope that wasn't wasn't too traumatizing. I remember I used to get hit all the time. Oh uh, yeah. You know, that was bad. That was the worst that's ever happened. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. And uh, and how about you, PJ? Yeah, this is one time in Little League. It was less of the play. It was more just uh, I think karma hit me pretty bad. Where I was, <laughs> I was trotting home. It was like I think my last year of Little League, and I I guess like, I got walked at some point. I was on third base. I was running home. And uh, it was the thing where like it was balls in the outfield. I was running home. And it was like I was gonna be safe no matter what. So I was a stand up, you know, cross the plate, and I uh, did a little like a little prayer thing up to the gods. And then I trip over the home plate and fall face first in the dirt. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was that was fun. I, I did the same thing, but it was it was kickball. It was like all the fifth graders were there, and I went up to bat, and I kicked the ball, and I, tr I tripped over myself. And, oh. Uh, you know, needless to say, my uh, I was you know I thought I was kind of in the yeah. middle with popularity. That that quickly went uh, yeah. quickly went down for a little bit after. I that. was there. It was last week. It was yeah, quite, quite, quite <laughs> so, so, yeah. I think it might have been the Aaron and Elizabeth kickball game. Too, yeah. Oh for, man. Uh, for college or anything. Talk about a grudge match, man. <laughs> that, was that was a, a good game. Match. Yeah, yeah. Great game. Yeah. Um, with with uh, with announcing these games, is there a lot of preparation that, that goes into that? Do you have to to study these players and? Uh, anything like that? Yeah, yeah, I would say so. I mean, Nick, you know the most part, but you came. So, you came to feel the first day, and we did the first broadcast, and you had like a whole book of yeah, notes so, and stuff. And I'm more, I'm more electronic, so I do like more yeah. like notebook stuff. I'll have my notebook with me, and I write notes on the game. So if there's anything happening or anything big details, I'll have like you've seen it. Like I just kind of just yeah. go by the, by the flow and stuff. But you should have like a whole like yeah, he goes Bible. he goes all like 
laptop and all, and I oh, okay. sometimes I uh, have the old iPad. I am, okay, yeah. I, I am an iPad fan. I, I, I see you in the iPad. I see you in the stylus. <laughs> yeah, I read the Philadelphia Inquirer on it. But anyway. for the Philadelphia Inquirer. <laughs> no, I'm keeping that thing running. Uh, <laughs> do you read the, the, the you read the digital or do you read the the actual digital 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 Philadelphia yeah, but Inquirer. hold on, let me. T- so for the game, I'll pull up like uh, I'll pull up like play by play like type that they they have already yeah, set up. Yeah. So I'll like look at that, but. Uh, the main thing I do is I'll print out like the whole roster and I'll highlight the lineup prior. I write down the lineup and I, what I want to try to do is try to keep score now, keep like a score book to remember like, oh, what happened last time this player was up at bat. So yeah, there is a little bit of prep work. I don't do as much as I probably should. Okay. But That's right. yeah. That's all right. Well, I figured since you mentioned uh, that you're Little League fans and uh, you love this sport so much, I figured I'd give you a little quiz on some uh, baseball situation. Are you, right. are you game? Yeah, yeah. See yeah. how I did that with the that baseball was good. pun? That, that was, was on good. the fly, too. So, all right. So, here's the first one. There's one out with a runner on first. You're playing shortstop. Where should you throw that ball to? Second base. All right. Fair yeah. enough. Uh, two outs, bases loaded, ground ball to the first baseman. What do you do? You said two outs, right? Yeah. Two Touch outs. Tag out. first. Tag first. All right. You guys Touch are down. Guys are good. Going two for two. <laughs> you're the... Not like you. Went over for four. <laughs> over for four. Right. Yeah. Uh, you're a runner on third base with one out. The batter hits a fly ball to the left fielder. What should you do? Okay, so what you do is you take your lead. Yeah. You see if the ball is deep enough. Yeah. To if it's like a sacrifice fly situation, you go back, tag the bag, and then run home. So there's still two outs, but you score a run. So you just show me kind of what I did for that wiffle ball game. Exactly. Which, okay, I exactly. like it. I like it. All right, last one. Uh, there's no outs. Runner on first and second. Sacrifice bunt is hit to the pitcher. Hmm. hmm. Are we the pitcher? You're the pitcher. I say throw it to first. Yeah, right? just go to first base. Go to yeah, first. That's, All, that's right. All right. Well, there you go. That was on the spot. <laughs> yep. Well, these professionals we got here. Uh, one more question for you. Uh, now that you guys are baseball announcers, do you guys look at this sport of baseball from a different angle or a different way than you did before? You want to go first? Yeah, there's definitely a certain appreciation that comes with baseball. I mean, when you, there's one thing to go listen on the radio and stuff and just have in the background, like Nick was saying, I do the same thing where I would just do, if I'm doing chores on the house, I just have baseball on, like, if I get a chance to, like, college, whatever level, it's, it's just, cool, it's, cool, it's, cool, eh, it's cool to have, like, the background noise and just have the ambience of the ballpark and it's just a great vibe. But then when you become a commentator for it and you just really, you know, get into the game and, you know, you love the game, but also just, like, all those things include with it, there's a whole new kind of, um, like, realism involved with it where you just, appreciate the game in a different way where it's um, instead of you know it being you know a long fly ball to le- left field you appreciate the smaller things that you know players bring to the game where it's you know the you know things the, the dugout and all like the bullpen stuff you really pay attention to everything that's going on you really just get a better understanding for the game and uh, when you get to call it you just when you're a radio voice it's the only sport you really can do radio where it's like you got to say everything and everything goes like whatever's happening you got to say and it's and there's also more room for it to breathe so it's a very natural game it's just I have a great appreciation for the game, so I think it's uh, it's really fun and it's cool. So, I couldn't agree more. And we actually have uh, some clips of you guys uh, announcing this baseball. So uh, let's check that out. Yeah, we've seen a lot of that lately in the past two innings too. A lot of quick work by pitchers to find themselves into good pitchers counts and finding their way uh, either in a good strikeout situation or finding a nice little ground out for uh, in the Knights' case ground outs and in the Cavaliers' situation a lot of pop flies to deep left field. And that uh, could be a situation, hopefully, not carrying any further than that no. in later innings. But we'll see how that goes. I mean, you saw through the first two innings how patient the batters have been. They've kind of changed their approach and going a little more aggressive and going after the first three pitches. Exactly. Toll, first pitch strike, 0-1 count. But again, seriously, you really see batters, like, really having some patience here. Patience is so key. Oh, man. That was, that was fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Woo! Thank you. Yeah. Um, we, went to, uh, we went to opening day. Yeah, uh, the Phillies, which was uh, a such thrill, a thrill of a time, fantastic. Thrill. It was all right. Uh, just all right. <laughs> was it because I was there, PJ? Because no um, Red Sox, <laughs> Boston boy. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Um, what would you say is uh, one of your favorite stadium foods when you're down at the ballpark? <laughs> popcorn. Really? Popcorn and a hot dog. Really? That's my go-to. All right, that's fair. Uh, that's fair. Classic. Yeah, the hot dog's classic, but I love the Italian sausages. Like, there's like I, I love like the yeah. what is it the, the bratwurst they have like. Oh, I love those. Oh, bro, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I'm, I'm the same thing, like the Italian sausages, they have like the, uh, it's like the, the bigger hot dog, or like whatever. I don't know. I'm sticking with a hot dog. <laughs> all right, I might have to go with a hot dog, right, too, right. bro. I don't know. 
But uh, are you a, are you a ketchup or a mustard guy on the hot dog? <laughs> mustard, mustard, yeah. mustard. Oh, you answer that like. Yeah. All right. I have a mustard. Mustard. Problem. Yeah. Okay. And uh, PJ? Yeah, mustard for sure. Yeah. How about, how about you, AJ? Back mustard's there? the only way to go, man. Mm -hmm. What'd you say? Mustard's the only mustard. way to go. Mustard. Okay. All right. All right. I'm a I'm a ketchup guy. I had a I put a lot of ketchup on my hot dog, the last one, and uh, that was not fun trying to clean all that up. But no, no. Uh, it's it's all right. There's there's got to be a good uh, ketchup to hot dog ratio, I think. I still haven't, haven't solved You gotta yet. find. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah I'm still working. I got the, uh, the cookie and the milk one down. That's good. So, I'm still, still working on that. Um, it, it'll take a lot of uh, improvisation to do mm -hmm. that. And especially, uh, that, uh, that interview was a grand slam. Uh, let's move on to another inning with our game called Heads Up. We will each have 60 seconds to guess the highest number of questions guessed correctly. We'll play in teams uh, AJ and I and PJ and Nick and we'll play until everyone has a chance to go. Nick, have you ever heard of Heads Up? No. Think? All right. Well, you're you're in for a treat. PJ, Sounds have fun. you? I have not. No. Okay. I have Howard DeGeneres. Well, I think you don't really hear much from her anymore, anyway. So <laughs> no, fair enough. Yeah, not anymore. Her show kind of got canceled. Hopefully, this show uh, stays <laughs> on the air if we keep it up uh, long enough. Moving um, big time, James. Yes. Moving up to the big time. Yes, maybe we'll see. Uh, but basically, it's a it's a charades game. And uh, I guess we gotta uh, act for this. No, we don't have to oh, act. Okay. We don't have to act. Uh, I guess uh, me and AJ should we show them how it's done? Yeah, sure. All right, let's see. Did you ever play that game Headbands? Yeah, it's like the car. It's, yes. it's basically what it is. Um, so let's see here. While we have our audience here, we have uh, what's up, audience? <laughs> uh, we have uh, hey, Mr. DJ. Blockbuster movies, superstars, and pop culture. Movies. Movies, I'm movies hearing. We movies, hear. okay. A lot All of right. movies we hear. A lot of movies I'm hearing. All right. Let me turn this up here so we can hear it, okay? You ready, AJ? Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, so it's about this detective who's trying to find Sherlock Holmes. a wild cat. That is oh, it's also a certain shade. Uh, it's a I'm color you have pass. <laughs> uh, big ogre with donkey and princess. Uh, Shrek. Yeah. Uh, Bill Murray relives the same day over and over Red again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, blue people. James Cameron. Uh, Avatar. Yeah. Uh, it's a. This dude wakes up in a world full of monkeys. <laughs> Skip it. <laughs> uh, the Magic Kid. It's the last one in the series. Uh, with the scar on his forehead oh, and the glasses. Oh, oh, uh, Harry Potter. Last one. And the Deathly Hollows. Yes. Uh, skip. What? I don't know the plot of that. Oh, AJ. Uh, <laughs> so there's these kids, and uh, I skip. I can't say it without <laughs> yeah. revealing it. Uh, it's the number that comes after eight. Nine. Yeah. Okay. No, it was me. Dear, da mom dies. Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Because it's small, wimpy one? deer. <laughs> right, no, dude, that's the most iconic that's, part of that movie. Can you do the little flip part? Imagine that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so we got... You didn't know The Notebook yet, Jim? I've never that's seen it. Saying. I don't know the plot <laughs> of that. A, that is a bookmark movie. I've never right. seen it. it, it, it well, it's, we, got, we got five. Nick, you want to try it, buddy? PJ's doing it. Well, I'm doing this in movies. Put that on your forehead. Put that on your forehead. Let's see. Robert De Niro. Uh, Sopranos. No. no. What? Are you talking to Joker. me? Joker. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, Pass already, right? Leonardo DiCaprio. Wolf Wall Street. Money. Um, um, money. Yeah. Oh, 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 the Great Gatsby. Uh, no, just pass. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> um, just, well, one of them just came out. Uh, Pass. This is bad. Uh, what even is past that? <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, Come on, give me a clue here, man. Give me a clue. Uh, uh, where's a rubber suit? <laughs> what? Where's Iron Man? Black... No. Spider-Man. Spider no, where's a black rubber suit? <laughs> where's a black rubber suit? Who do you know that wears a Batman. black rubber suit? Yes! Okay. But, okay, alright. Uh, oh, gosh. Um, oh, just it. got slapped in the face. You! He's in this! I don't oh. know! <laughs> what? <laughs> um, we got to do a different I category. <laughs> Nick, I am uh, so It was sorry. close. <laughs> it was very... <laughs> alright, What did I miss here? Okay, hang we on. We got... 
Let's see. Nope. Oh, Wall Street. Batman. Batman. There's two Batmans. Uh, it, yeah. There, there's a lot of Batmans. Madag what do you mean, Matt? Slaps him. Rock. Yeah. Okay, you could have been a little more specific so, with that. <laughs> Zebra, lion. Animal what slap to in the past <laughs> year have we known more than Change that one? Phone there. We got. We got to do a different category. Yeah. Um, that was a. Uh... All right. All right. AJ's up I'm here. Uh, let's do. Uh, Let's try pop culture. Let's do pop culture. Oh, boy, oh, boy. That's it. Let's yeah. test the kid who reads the Enquirer. <laughs> so, what does uh, pop culture entail? Is that like musicians? We'll, we'll see. Find out. We'll see. <laughs> All right, this is what I am. Uh, talk show host, Jimmy yes. Fallon. Oh, that's yeah. it. All right. Uh, this is the movie with uh, Lady Gaga that just came out. Oh, A Star is Born? No, it's the one about the fashion brand. Uh, no, it is. Oh, Gucci. Gucci. House yeah. of Gucci. Yeah. yeah. Not, uh, not an actor, but... An actress? Yes. Uh, she was in Twilight. I did an impression uh, of her Stewart. last show. Yes. Uh, <laughs> this is screwed. the movie with uh, <laughs> Timothy Charlemagne and Zendaya. The sci-fi one. Oh, I have no idea. Alright, right. pass that then. Okay. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, oh, Harry's gonna be disappointed. I don't know that one. Uh, pass that oh. one. Uh, this is the, the Pixar movie about the, the, the fish, I think. Finding Nemo? <laughs> no, no, it's it's a new one. Oh, I think Luca. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the guy who played Spider Man. Uh, Tom the, Holland. The newest one. Tom yes, Holland. Yes. Yes. Uh, this is where you watch cinema in a group. The movie theater. Yes. Oh, that was uh, uh, Daniel Craig. James Bond. Yes. I'll count that. All right. All right. That was solid. That was right. solid. Are you? Uh, oh, God. Your turn. All, all right. right. So to do. What do we, we do? Like, we choose some different category. Like we're not getting any of those. I promise you. Oh, you want to do a different one? Yeah. Different category. Surprisingly, no baseball category. That's what I'm. I'm uh, yeah, going yeah, Unfortunately. Yeah. So to flip it up, I pass. Flip it down. I got flip, it right. Yeah. yeah. Flip yeah. up like this is to pass, okay. and then down is is when you get it. That's so, what I'm nervous about. All right. I'll have you pick next. So we got pop culture. Pop culture. We're going with a PJ. All right. All right. Okay. Oh man. Here we go. I'm nervous. As you should be. Oh, 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 it's the red stuff, like the red ropes. But in like a, a just pass it. Twizzlers. <laughs> no, pass it. <laughs> Too much. Uh, no idea who that is. <laughs> uh, no idea who that is. <laughs> oh, not East, but. West. And it's a. Uh, West Wing. No, uh, but it's like, a, it's like a, a book thing. Like a, it's not like a the just, Bible. Pass oh, it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's a song. Um, but also like what a what a see what dynamite does. What does dynamite do? Blow up. No, what's the sound it makes? Boom. But like two words before it with T's. A stop. Like a watch. Like like tick tick boom. There you go. That's a good one. That's one. That's one. <laughs> um, I don't know who that is. <laughs> um. Oh oh. Uh, what is it? Hunger Games. The Martha the girl? Stewart. No, the, no. What? Oh, yeah, what the yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah. Cat never looks so the, good. Yeah, Everdeen. Uh, uh, oh, what? No, no. Uh, no. no. <laughs> um, I think he was Spider-Man, I think, or something. Tom Holland. No, no, no. I Andrew don't know who Garfield. This is. Yeah, Garfield, yeah. Uh, you got you that's right. You gotta... Oh, baby. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, man. That was good. That was good. That was better. That was better. Hey, that was better. That was better. That was way better. Okay. That was much better. What's what's Two. the girl's name in Hunger Games? Oh, okay. All right. That's better. We, just double, we doubled that score. We doubled it. I said Martha Stewart. All right. <laughs> Martha Stewart. I don't know where that came After that, I don't even know whose turn it is. Is it, yours? is it your turn, Peter? We're still doing it. I think, I think we are. Uh, is that everyone? Yeah, yeah. everyone. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It does, yeah. Look, it does look like yeah. we're out of time. Uh, <laughs> Nick, hopefully you can read the uh, entertainment section of the Inquirer next time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight. If you'd like to be a part of our studio audience for a future taping, uh, please email our amazing producer, Des. His email is newmedia, N-E-U-M-E-D-I-A, at newman.edu. So sorry to Mike McCrossin and Elizabeth Cavalier for not getting them on the show. Uh, we ran out of time. We have a great future episode in the works for you. Until then, have a great night.